Hello Aquarians, welcome to the May 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Yalak. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Aquarians, this is what we're going to do. <clears throat> we um, divide the topic slightly here, so it is easier for you to to get um, more information, if that makes sense. So we're looking at the overall energy for the months of May for the sign of Aquarius. Before we then go into your emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen, maybe love is coming in, all that kind of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Before we then go into opportunities, and opportunities for the most part will be what sustains you financially. Anyway, just need a, a sip. Ready? So let's have a look at your overall energy for the months of May 2022. <coughs> Aquarians. <coughs> Sorry. This is interesting because you have what is called the mystic healer. Let me just show you this. And that is an energy that oftentimes comes up in the next section of a reading which is your emotional core but you have it as the overall energy for your sign Aquarius for the months of May and the mystic healer is saying to you healing energy is already flowing through you this is the time where you are asked to be conscious about healing about letting go of stuff that isn't for you about things that you grieve about about things that you have witnessed that were painful and and say like yeah i can i can honor someone's memory without having to keep suffering by remembering only what what what, what was painful if that makes sense right so the main message here or, the, or the, the the interesting thing about this since this is not about your emotions and your love life and what can heal and stuff um yet this is actually your overall energy. So for Aquarians, the month of May will likely be a month where you will either be very introvert um, and and not do the shadow work, right? Or you will be introvert, <laughs> or introverted at least, which is actually um, not uncommon for Aquarians, right? There is this side to you. Um, but what they're asking you to understand is that the universe is signaling to you that it is time to let go of whatever is still sitting inside you that doesn't serve you well. And this is your overall energy, which means that energy of not feeling miserable, of not feeling anxious, um, is a strong energy because it will be there for the entire month of May. Right, if that makes sense. Also interesting to notice um, that, that the, um, the, the, the full moon in May <clears throat> will be a supermoon. And supermoons are brighter and they appear larger. And because the moon and the sun are oftentimes, sounds a bit weird, in Kahoot energetically, right? they're very close. And the ancients would see the ego, which is the ruler of the day, as um, um sorry the, the sun is the ego uh, as the, the, the sun is the ruler of the day they would see the sun as the ego and it's not always a bad thing to have some ego if that makes sense but they were saying is you know that the doer the one that overrides stuff right and so with a super moon in so 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 the ego of the sun is opposing the energy the emotions of the moon, right? In normal circumstances, you get always that the, that the sun is somehow energetically stronger, if that makes sense. But because we have the super moon, right? Emotionally, you have even more feelings about your overall energy, how to heal with things. I didn't explain that right. It's just my brain is all over the place, right? <laughs> right? So, in other words, the, the super moon, because it is brighter, um, um, means that you will even be more emotional. And since your overall energy was to heal emotionally, 
Um, this will very likely be um, um, a really deep month for Aquarians. Okay, now <clears throat> let's have a look properly at your uh, emotions. And you have fellow travelers. Fellow travelers is just another word of saying, you know, you are not, you are not alone on this path, right? Um, reach out. Support is, is there. You just have to reach out and say to people, you know what? I'm not feeling right. I'm going through stuff. Even if you don't know what you're going through, make sure you are reaching out. And it's important because the depiction here of the fellow travelers, as you, I don't know if you can see this, there's a peacock in the picture. Now, the peacock as a spirit guide tells us that, again, this is about May and your emotions, you are used to showing your beautiful wheel, right? Pretending you're okay, because the wheel has a thousand eyes, which means it keeps predators at bay. So it, there is a good chance in May that you're not, that you won't feel like um, reaching out. And yet, the guides are asking you for your own sake to override this weird thing, Aquarians, that you do by thinking, oh, I go through this alone, I don't want to inconvenience people. Inconvenience people. A lot of people have no problem with being inconvenienced, right? Because they want to be there for you. Okie dokie. So speaking about um, your opportunities now for the months of May 2022 for the sign of Aquarius. You are watching Thomas' Tower page. Please like, subscribe and share. Now, with regards to opportunities, what the guides are saying is don't try to actively make changes, right? Sort of surrender to the journey, if that makes sense, and allow yourself to go with the flow, right? If you're not happy anywhere, still go with the flow and say to your guides, you know what? I know this is coming to an end, I can feel it, and also that's probably what I want, right? But I don't want this to be um, triggering more anxiety. And anxiety comes up quite a bit in the months of May for the sign of Aquarius, right? So please pay attention to how you feel, you know, and um, right? there is an integral part of yourself, so, and, and an acting part <clears throat> of yourself. And all the guys are saying is don't do that to yourself, just... It is pointless because of the energy that you have in the month of May to be super proactive when it comes to looking for new opportunities, right? Go with the flow, surrender to the journey, right? And keep manifesting if wherever you are in life, with, with whatever it is that sustains you financially, if you're not happy there, keep manifesting. Okie dokie, Aquarius. That was all for your May 2022 general reading. See you all hopefully next month.